Hi, everybody. Welcome to Dash Brazil. Today, we have two very important guests here from Uphold.com. We have Simon. He's the president and COO of Uphold. And we also have Jem. He's uh, the chief product and experience officer. Guys, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here in our channel. Simon, I'm going to ask you with uh, first, give us a quick, um, a quick explanation about Uphold and how does it work and, and where do you guys operate globally? Sure. Well, thank you very much for inviting us on, first of all. Um, Uphold is a retail platform that makes it easy for people all around the world to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, national currencies, and, and metals and other assets. Uh, we, we currently cover around 30 cryptocurrencies, 23 national currencies, and, and four precious metals. And people use us because we're very simple to use and we're very cost effective. And we can do things that other platforms can't. One of the most important things you can do on Uphold, for example, is go from uh, Dash to XRP, to give one example, in one trade. If you tried to do that on other platforms, it would involve at least two trades, going back to USD or going back to BTC, adding extra fees, adding extra time, and adding extra complexity. And our, our vision... And one of the reasons we, we open around 7,000 accounts a day at the moment is the connectivity we offer between the legacy banking system and uh, the, the, the new money system of cryptocurrencies. So you can deposit and withdraw to bank accounts, uh, and you can also deposit and withdraw to seven different uh, crypto networks. So we, we're very excited to join you today because we're just about to uh, introduce the biggest changes that we've made since we launched the platform in 2014. And they can be boiled down to making it even easier to use and even cheaper. We're the first US retail platform to introduce commission-free trading on all cryptocurrencies. And at the same time, we're introducing what we, we hope and believe is a revolutionary trading interface that allows somebody to fund their account, to exchange different currencies, and to send money to other people all around the world from one screen. So that, that's the sort of high-level view of what we're up to. Excellent. What's the main challenge for Uphold to operate globally uh, regarding KYC, bank accounts, so many fiat options, and so many uh, crypto options? Yeah, it's it's a major challenge. I mean, we're, we're around a... 107 people and around a third of our staff are relate, uh, working in the compliance function. Uh, and our goal that we set ourselves right from the start, and unlike other players like Revolut or Robinhood, we set ourselves the goal right, right out of the gate to make it easy for anyone in whatever country they're in around the world to get onto the platform. One of the big changes that Jen will be talking about later is we're, we're actually moving identity verification to uh, the back of the trading flow. So you only need to go through identity verification on Uphold now when you want to withdraw funds or you want to send them to someone. So it's going to be even easier for people to quickly get in and lock a price for crypto. Excellent. So, Jem, uh, so you have a, a great surprise for us. You want to uh, show the interface? You want to talk a little bit about this for us, please? Yeah. Um, one of the things that we've done recently was to uh, survey our customers and really try and understand how they use Appalled uh, and what they think about us. And, and, and one of the things that came out of that was that even though we have a, um, a very good following and a very good customer base, uh, just like yourself, who use Appalled all the time, um, one thing that came through was that Uphold is difficult to use and that Uphold is a little expensive. And we listen to our customers. I mean, one of the things that we do do uh, at Uphold is, is, is constantly try and understand what our customers are thinking and try and put in place solutions to make uh, their experience better with us. And to that end, what we've done is we've basically said we are going to depart from the uh, old uh, user interface that uh, people use today and make it so much easier that it will make a, a hold and the power of the platform accessible to everyone around the world, regardless of their 
level of expertise or understanding of trading on crypto markets and uh, with other financial assets. So I think that's one part of it. And the second part of it is really not only uh, bringing down the pricing, but actually really simplifying the pricing structure that you see on a platform like Apple. So we have introduced what we think is a, a, an extremely transparent uh, pricing model where the price you see is the price that you get. So the, the price is locked at the moment that you preview your trade and you don't have to do your own calculations and try and figure out what amount of, uh, what amount of crypto you might actually end up buying and ending up in your account. What you see on your screen is what's going to end up in your account, which I think is really powerful. So if you don't mind, we will go ahead and uh, do a quick demo for you so you can uh, you can make up your own mind. And one of the other things that I wanted to just add, um, in uh, just over a week, uh, into next week, one of the things that you will be able to see, whether you are a uh, uh, an Uphold customer or not, is when you land on Uphold.com on the web, you will actually be able to see the new uh, trading interface as a non-customer and you will be able to try it and you will be able to see our pricing on there as well. It's not different pricing to what our customers who get, uh, who log in and get that pricing. It's the same pricing, it's the same interface and you'll be able to just play on it and decide for yourself whether you like it or not and uh, understand our pricing structure. Excellent, let's go for the demo. Okay, so um, here we're looking at uh, the first screen that's going to welcome you to the uh, new Uphold. And it's a very simple a screen of a real account, which is my real account on Uphold, um, and it shows my holdings. And as you can see, I have uh, at the very top, you can see my balance of £49.67 uh, uh, 67 pence. And... Um, uh, in the middle of the screen, you can see that I have a couple of notifications to set up a passcode to make it easier for me to uh, uh, to authenticate onto the account, as well as enabling two-step verification for added security. And then below that, you can see my holdings, my two separate accounts on a poll uh, that has some funds in it. One of them is a uh, pound sterling uh, account, which is my... Uh, which is my uh, local currency, and I have used that to buy some Bitcoin with it. And we can go ahead and look at the detail of those accounts. So here I have clicked on my uh, GBP account, and you can see the balance of that, and you can see the uh, trades or the transactions that I have done under that account. And similarly, when we close that, you can see the same when I click on the Bitcoin account. And, and again, you can see transactions within there. And then if you were to click on one of those transactions, then you get a lot more detail about the specific transaction when it was completed, uh, as well as uh, all of the uh, reserve chain codes and so on that uh, may be required at some point. Now, from here, what, where I want to take you is the uh, screen that we have put together where we believe we are going to uh, deliver a transformational experience for our customers when it comes to transacting from any asset to any asset. And that screen looks something like this. It's an incredibly simple view that has uh, several visible fields to it. One of them, it says from and the other one says two. And let's go ahead and play with it a little bit just so that we can get oriented around how it works. So if I click from, as you can see, I'm presented with a list of at least a couple of accounts that I recognize from my portfolio, my BTC account with its tiny balance in it and my GBP account. And then underneath that, I see a credit card uh, detail and it shows the last four numbers of that credit card. It's in uh, GBP currency and it's a Visa card and it shows that I have a uh, 500 uh, pound uh, limit 
remaining for the day that I can deposit from that card. That's actually the card that I used originally to deposit into my GBP account when I opened this. And underneath that, you can see a long list of crypto networks, and we will talk about this uh, in a moment uh, as we go through uh, playing around with this. So let's let's do a let's choose GBP as our from uh, currency, and then let's jump down and look at two. And in two, you will now see that we have the uh, Bitcoin account that we have already transacted into, and then underneath that we have a bunch of um, uh, different uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, as you can see, as well as utility tokens, stable coins, as well as all of the uh, fiat currencies that uh, we we basically offer, as well as the uh, four uh, uh, precious metals uh, that we have under commodity uh, under commodities, and uh, all of the uh, crypto networks that we have in we are integrated into, and then follow that by my contacts with whom that I can, uh, or, or to whom I can send money uh, from uh, from a poll. That's a hell of a long list. So to make that easier to access, if you look up here, for example, we have some um, filters that filter the, that long list down to its uh, components uh, uh, so, that, so that it makes it easier for you to, to find them if you want. But actually, the way that I think about this is that I go ahead and uh, do a search and I can find Dash, for example, right there. So we have just chosen Dash uh, as the denomination for two. So now let's go ahead and effectively enter a number, a value into uh, the two part of uh, the screen. And as you can see, we have had a very quick automatic update. Uh, so we've put 10 pounds in the from field, and that has translated into uh, into dash in the to field. And we can see that at the bottom, I've just flipped the rate. Uh, one dash is 84 and a half pounds and so on. And one GBP is 0 0.01183 dash uh, at the moment. So that's the rate that you're going to get if you were to go ahead and do this transaction. But let, let's let's go ahead and actually now click on the two field. And instead of that long uh, number that came up, let's say that we wanted to buy 0 0.12 dash. That instantly updates the from field, so you can now achieve what you want to achieve exactly in the destination, rather than trying to figure out what to put in the from field. And if you think about um, competitor uh, interfaces, uh, what, what customers are telling us, not only us, but also our competitors, as well as in other industries, is that they want real control over what arrives at a destination, what exactly comes out from source, or any combination of those things. So in, in our case, we will be able to achieve that with great ease, as you can see. And then I want to orient you on one other part of this screen. So if you look in the middle of the uh, two fields, you can see that there is an other uh, GBP number, which is the same as from. Let's go ahead and expand that uh, field. And you can see that it's very similar to the from and to field, but it's a little skinnier. Let's go ahead and pull that down. Here, what you're seeing are all of the fiat currencies. By default, what it was set to is my, uh, my local currency, which was GBP. But I want to flip that for a second. So I'm going to flip that to US dollars. And now what we have is a screen that's showing a from value. So uh, 10 pounds, 12 pence is going to come out from my GBP account. It's going to credit 0 0.12 Dash into a new Dash account that it's going to create for me. And the equivalent uh, USD value for that is 12.92. Why do we want that? Maybe, maybe what we want to do is actually to say that we want to buy 
15 US dollars worth of Dash using the funds from my GBP account and it will go ahead and create a new Dash account uh, for us. And if you look at that, you, you can see kind of the flexibility behind it and the simplicity of being able to achieve uh, that transaction. And you can do that all in one go. So let's go ahead and preview that trade. And there, there we go, we preview the trade. And then if we go ahead and confirm that trade, it's been confirmed. And now, if you look at our portfolio, you can see that a uh, Dash account has just been added with the amount that uh, we had decided to put into it. And there is, the, uh, there is the transaction and there is the detail behind that transaction. So it's kind of, it's as simple as that. So what we're setting up, this well, the reason why we have created this uh, simple user interface, but with the power that's behind it, is that it gives uh, our users the ability to trade anything to anything at the moment, but it also gives us the ability to be able to extend this without changing user interfaces so that as we add more assets like fractional equities in the future into our portfolio, our customers will be able to continue using the same user interface and be able to trade truly anything to anything without having to learn new user interfaces as time goes on. Well, I, I think this is excellent because um, myself as a user of Uphold for the past three years, um, I can tell I'm, I'm based in the U.S., but I'm from Brazil. I, I do some work that I get paying Bitcoins or U.S. dollars or Brazilian reais. And, and I'm not very good with numbers, but calculating those, you know, ways to, okay, so should yeah. I actually get paid now, but should I convert to Bitcoin because Bitcoin went up, but the Brazilian real went down against the U.S. dollar or the British pound if I do a work uh, some job that I get paying in euros. So this is excellent because for a normal user, uh, it, it shows you in one screen in a very simple way uh, uh, how much exactly it's going to be in US dollars, British pounds, uh, uh, Bitcoin, Dash, or even uh, precious metals. This is excellent, guys. Well done. Well, I I'm delighted to hear that because what we're genuinely trying to do is exactly cater for all eventualities and in a um, in a world that's getting smaller and smaller and we all operate online you know your situation is not unique where you get paid in one currency you live in another uh, uh, country and you may have dealings uh, 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 with a, a bunch of different uh, cryptocurrencies and, and and holdings in a bunch of cryptocurrencies so um that's why we try to put this together so that we can actually make it possible for everyone regardless of their level of experience to be able to trade in a very predictable fashion so that you they will know the outcomes of this so i want millennials to be able to have the same success on the uphold platform as well as a grandmother in brazil who wants to invest for the future of uh, her grandchildren uh, and, and, and they should be able to do this with the same level of ease. So, uh, Jem, can you show us now the reverse? How can we spend some Dash or convert to any other crypto or maybe precious metal or any type of fiat? That's a really good question, actually. So let's just go ahead and go to our transact screen. And now if we look at the uh, pull down on the from field, we can see that our Dash account that we have just created is visible there. So let's go ahead and choose that. And then on the two, we are going to use our uh, funds in the Dash account to buy some Bitcoin. So now we have to decide the amount that we need to put into the from or the two and to go from Dash to Bitcoin. But uh, considering how tiny my balances are in there, that will actually be a difficult exercise. So, but, but we can still do that. So let's go ahead and say 0 0.1 Dash will buy us apparently 0 0.0012 so on Bitcoin, which is great. But let's make it really easy. So let's go ahead and open our equivalent field. 
And as you can see, that defaults to my uh, local currency, which is GBP. But I am going to go ahead and change that to uh, USD. And I am going to then go ahead and change that to 10 US dollars. So now here, what I have set up the trade to be is that I am going to move or buy $10 worth of Bitcoin using the assets in my Dash account. And it's as simple as that. $10 worth of Bitcoin using assets in my Dash account. And I go ahead and preview that transaction. There is the preview. Let's go ahead and confirm that. And uh, we have confirmed. So let's go ahead and look at the two sides of that transaction. So we will go into our Dash account. And as you can see here, we have traded a certain amount of Dash into BTC. And then let's go ahead and look at the same on our Bitcoin account. And there it is. We have traded a certain amount of Dash into BTC. And we know that that was worth $10 because that's what we had set it up to be. And we didn't have to use a calculator to do that. Excellent. And, and, and for the merchants who want to use Uphold and start accepting crypto, how do you think this can play as a major tool as a major tool in order for them to do their daily conversions? Um, yeah, I think it's hugely important because the, the merchant has the flexibility of accepting payment in whatever currency they choose. And uh, equally, uh, for, the, for, the, for the person who's paying the merchant, it's incredibly easy for them because they don't need to have that particular currency in their account. They can just automatically take it from, from a new card. So for, for, for payments, and we've got several businesses now, actually, when I say several, what I mean is we've got 600 businesses who use us at the moment for precisely that problem. They've got global distribution and they're trying to accept payments from people around the world. Um, very successful company called TradeView, uh, an equities trading platform. They use us to accept payments from folks in cryptos who want to trade equities. And the TradeView have an account with us. Their customers, if they want to use crypto, just pay into the TradeView account. So they literally send Bitcoin or Dash or XRP to the dollar card. So to the dollar account that X, uh, that. Uh, uh, trade view has on uphold and the conversion is automatically so the customer gets to send what currency or crypto they want to send and the and the the company gets to receive the payment in the national currency that they want to you know uh, use to match their own uh, costs and expense obligations so guys tell me a little bit about the commission free because there's there are a lot of platforms that offer commission free but once you go to the checkout or to the trade itself the values change some of them ads uh, or advertise commission free but they do sell all the data that they get around you with a data aggregation creating like some sort of a value package how does uh, uphold.com deals with this yeah, it's, it's a great question. And the way we deal with it is that we lock in uh, the price of the asset you're buying at the preview stage. So at that point, you know precisely on an all inclusive basis what you're going to pay to to what you're going to what the price of the asset is going to be that you're buying. And uh, post trade, there's absolutely no change in price. So our model is uh, we're commission free. So we don't charge fees up front. In our price, there is a small spread. It varies from about 40 basis points, so half a percent up to 1% on a Bitcoin trade. To put that into the perspective of the market, a household name platform for on a $10 Bitcoin trade will charge you a $1.49 minimum. That's over a thousand basis points. We're charging between half, uh, half a percent, 50 basis points, and 100, and 100 basis points. This is an incredibly important area because there are lots of platforms out there, and I'm sure names will spring to mind, that purport to be free of charge. But they're not. They are commercial organizations, and they are charging fees somewhere. It's just the customer doesn't know where. We, we believe that's the wrong model. We believe the right model is to have a simple, all-inclusive, commission-free 
uh, tr uh, price that is locked in before somebody trades. And then the price you see before you trade is exactly the price you get after the trade with nothing added. Equally, it's important to explain that because we're commission free doesn't mean we're free. We're not free. We charge uh, a very low spread, as I say, uh, between 50 basis points and 100 basis points. And that's if you put that in uh, the, the, the context of our market, that's between, uh, you know, it's at least 40 percent cheaper on average than a typical crypto trade. Uh, so tell us a little bit about how can uphold.com integrate with exchanges and what are the benefits for the traders to use this integration? Sure. Well, uh, unlike a lot of similar platforms, we're not offering synthetic exposure to uh, cryptocurrencies. We offer full integration with crypto networks. We actually are, uh, are fully integrated with seven different networks. And that means even if you're in a country where you can't hook up your bank account, you can deposit to and withdraw to private wallets on crypto networks. And if you've got an account at a crypto exchange, you can hook up uh, to your, you can hook up, uphold to your bank account via your crypto exchange account. A lot of people do that in in Latin America, and a, a big part of what we're doing is about giving people choice. You know, you have the choice of using the old money system, or you have the choice of using the new money system. In other words, you can choose whether to deposit from a bank account or a, a credit card or a debit card, or you can choose to deposit through a crypto network, or you can choose to withdraw your holdings and your profits to a crypto network instead of your bank account. And we're, we're soon going to be offering instant withdrawal to debit card, uh, which we think is going to be a very cool feature. Very nice, guys. I think uh, uphold.com is one of uh, uh, the easiest platform to use uh, out there today. And uh, I would like actually to ask uh, everybody that's listening to us, please leave your comments on the description below. Uh, we got to try to answer them and, of course, get more information or any kind of suggestions or questions uh, the audience has as well. Uh, but today here, everybody, we had Simon. He's the president and COO of Uphold.com. And Jem, he's the chief product and experience officer. Once again, everybody, thank you very much for your time. I'll see you next time.